below. Yep. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space out in my backyard. And it has been super rainy here. So we have to clean out, well, we have to clean out the coop today, um, but we also need to put some bedding down on the ground for them because muddy is like a understatement. <laughs> And someone has decided she's gonna lay her eggs on the ground, which is not a good thing when you uh, would like to eat them. <laughs> and I don't wash mine, I leave them on the counter. Someone asked me why I do not put my uh, eggs in the refrigerator, because chickens lay bloom on the outside of their eggs, and it's a protective coat. So with that being said, oh my goodness, two of them have decided to lay their eggs on the ground. We gotta get that under control. Um, so, you don't have to put them in the refrigerator um, for a certain amount of weeks. I have to look that up because I don't want to give bad information. I'll put it on the screen. But you can leave them on the counter for a certain amount of time and you don't have to wash them. Um, so that's why I don't put my eggs in the fridge. <laughs> if we're honest, the person did not ask me why I don't put them in the fridge. They said they don't understand why I leave them on the counter. But that's why. In, in case it was you that left that comment, I don't want to misspeak. You did not ask. You just said you don't understand why I don't. We're going to get these girls taken care of today. I um, cleaned out the quail tote inside today and the whole entire laundry room um, because that needed to be done. I've done a lot today, if I'm honest. I don't have half of the things that I need out here with me right now. I need a basket because my daughter is absolutely not getting the chicken eggs like she is supposed to. So let me go get a basket. Why are you up there? <laughs> Girl. She is so nosy, y'all. This the one who always getting out. Oh, she knows it. She all in my basket. There's somebody back here packing me. What in the whole entire world? That is not nice. Get away from me. Not nice. Hey, peace. That's my favorite girl right there. Ow, stop it. Not cool. Cut it out. No, no. Go away. Y'all, it smelled like a whole farm over here. And at some point, they started kicking over their food, which we have in this, which we always put it in something like this. Um, we had the little feeder at one point, but it was easier for us to use this. Now they're gonna start kicking this over. In what world? Where is my gloves? I'm about to get them some treats so they can stop hollering. Somebody's butt need to be cleaned again. She didn't hit the whole thing. So this company sent me these. Um, they're called Scratch and Peck Feed. Um, these are grubs. They, I've, been, I've been using them. They seem to really love them. That's the name right there, a little bit easier. They also sent me some feed in time because I made a mistake and left the top off of their chicken feed. So I gotta clean that out today too. Uh, these are sustainably sourced grubs, high in protein uh, for chickens and pets. And I was looking this up online. It was like for dogs and all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, it does. It says for dogs, cats, and birds. Y'all see that? I ain't gave my dog none. I don't know if it's just me being weird or, or what. But anyway, we can already put this stuff down. We're gonna clean the inside of the coop out because I ain't gonna lie, I had this in the back of my car. I did not bring it to the back. My son went to work out and his body was hurting him. So now we gotta clean the whole coop because there's way too much poop in there. It's a beautiful day out here today though. Hey, could you move? I need you to come out. Come on. Nope, 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 come on. That's Betty, not wanting to work with me. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It is March, Sunday, March, what, 3rd, I guess? Beautiful day out here. But we gonna get this stuff done while we have a beautiful day. I'm also gonna plant out my onions because I looked at the forecast and we don't have any freezes um, this week for the next, I, want, I think it's the seven day that shows up on Apple. So we don't have any freezes this week. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know 
that one of my shelves in that new greenhouse fell over and um, some of my onions fell. So they just kind of sitting on the ground. I picked up what I could and put it back into the container, but that wasn't all of them. And they're not super big yet, but we're still going to, ah, got it, <laughs> attempt to uh, go ahead and plant them out because they have been outside in that greenhouse, so they should be okay. And I know everybody's gonna tell me, make sure I put a mask on when doing my chicken stuff. I never remember the mask. I never, ever remember the mask. That's not a good thing, so I'm not telling anybody not to. I'm not saying that I don't need to. I'm just saying I never remember it. <laughs> okay, so making progress on this. This is not one of my favorite things. It really isn't. I absolutely, I kind of dislike it, honestly. Oh, there's another egg in there, I missed it. And then, I don't know if someone laid a soft egg or if someone pecked it and ate it. I've never had an issue with them pecking their own egg, so it might have been someone laid a soft egg. Now, how did that work out for you? Why are you being like this today? Betty is on a roll, y'all. That's one of my black sex links. By the way, I put a link to those grubs and the chicken feed if you're interested, like if you want to look it up or want to try it. Pretty sure there's a discount code with it, too. So, something I haven't done in a while, because I always forget, is nail cam. I completely skipped February on the nail cam. <laughs> well, on getting my nails done at all. Completely skipped it. Didn't realize it until yesterday when I went to get my nails done. Anywho, nail cam. That red one, she did something with a magnet and all kinds of stuff um, to get it to look like that. It looks like glass. I think it's really cute. Look at look at this one. She is not being nice today. She's on a roll, like all in my way. Girl, girl. And she was being mean early and kept pecking me. She made me mad. Who is that? Girl, if you don't get from over here, you better. You been trying to pluck my nerves since I got out here. Go on now. Not my camera. Oh. oh. Get on somewhere. So I got some of the chicken feed that the company sent me. It looks good. Like, it's definitely grains. I'm not sure oh, about the filler. <laughs> they seem to like it so far. Peck and scratch is what it's called. Come on, Peace, get you some, girl. Yeah, they seem to like it. Definitely. I, I have to look at the ingredients, show you the bag. I don't want to say something that's not in there. But they seem to like it. <laughs> Okay, so we are done with the chickens and the quail care, but it looks so much better over here. And I know they're gonna be so much happier. Look at them, they are eating that food, y'all. They must really like it. We gonna see how it goes. But like I said, it's gonna be a link, um, and I'm pretty sure they gave me a discount code. They offered it to me, but also gave me a discount code in the link. So if you're interested in trying it, by the way, let's go look at the bag real quick. It's up on the porch because I need to dump. Are we fuzzy? <laughs> I feel like we're fuzzy. Because I need to dump the feed that got wet, but I'm not gonna worry about that tonight. For one, my trash can is full, but I probably could put it in the compost pile. Either way, I'm not doing that tonight. It's getting a little late, but I'm gonna show y'all the bag. Okay, so you got the feeding guide and it's got feeding for chickens, layers, broilers, turkeys, goats, sheep, and pigs. Um, apparently, you can sprout it. It's whole grains. That's what it is. So cool, right? Um, born from clean, born from the need for clean quality feed scratch pack feed. Cool, right? All right, let's see. If it tells us, so basically, 
it is a soy free whole grain raw organic feed grains um, from a family farm so yeah that's what it is okay next thing we need to do well what I want to do like I said if you uh, follow me over on Instagram you know my onions fail so there are some still down here if you can see they're still green so there's some down there that I want to plant anything that's left anything that's left we're gonna get those planted this is the calendula that fail um, anything that's left in the onion thing back there we're gonna plant those out there's some more calendula uh, oh by the way these are the ranunculus they're looking good I don't think we're fuzzy, but we might be fuzzy if we're fuzzy. I'm sorry, y'all. Those are the nasturtiums, which I'm not doing anything with. These fell over, too. <laughs> and no ginger just yet. Which, I probably should take that ginger back in the house. Because ginger likes heat. And even with our warmest days, I don't think it's, like, that warm for it. So, I'm probably going to take the ginger back in the house. But, and also probably the sweet potatoes. Because they like heat. And I think having them out here is not my best option. But, anyway... We're going to start planting some stuff. I didn't get anything in the uh, turmeric either, but it's okay. Um, I am loving this greenhouse, and I know people were saying you're going to have to do something to hold it down. I might. I haven't had to yet. It did knock over one of the shelves, like the shelf that was over here, and I think it's because this is full of water. So when it did move with the wind, it knocked the shelf over, which is how I lost some onions, <laughs> but it's okay. So we're gonna plant one like little uh we're gonna plant like one tray at a time because i'm gonna plant in the bricks today um we also need to pull the broccoli which i am gonna do because i'm gonna give it to the chickens but i wanted to clean their area out before i put this over here because it was pretty gross so matter of fact let's go ahead pull the broccoli first throw that over into the chickens um, and then we also need to do some fertilizing to the soil to revamp it but we're not gonna uh, plant anything in it right now we just need to go ahead and fertilize it so it can start to break down so when it is time to plant we can plant in it um, but I am also going to put some onions in these beds so like I'm gonna have onions everywhere I want all the onions <laughs> ha, they want it now my daughter is putting the feeder block out. So I did grab my book where I have planned out my gardening. I will put a link to that video if you are interested. I hope you can see this. It's kind of bright out here. But anyway, I grabbed my book so that I can see where I need to plant some of these onions if we get all the blocks planted and we have more left. Um, that's why I only do it one at a time. Anyway, I grabbed my book. We're going to go ahead and pull this broccoli out, give it to the chickens. So they've gotten some new feed today. They've gotten a feeder block and they about to get some broccoli. They, they eating good today. <laughs> Nope, oh, it's that for a gallon. All right, so I do pull mine. If you have been here for a while, you know that I pull my plants out at this point because my beds seem to have been root bound. I don't ever want to have to dig up a root bound garden bed ever again. So, yes, I do pull my plants. By the way, there's a lot of little broccoli sprouts on here. So, once you get the broccoli head, if you keep it in, you can get this tiny little broccoli off of it and you get a few of them if i see something that's big enough i'll go ahead and take them uh, you can put them in some ranch eat them raw or you know i fry mine you can also make a small pot of broccoli whatever you want to do but um the leaves are edible i don't eat broccoli leaves that's why i'm gonna give the whole thing to the chickens and let them enjoy it and then get eggs from it <laughs> girl look at her and this chicken <laughs> She wouldn't have given the chicken block. She left the plastic in the coop. The block is sitting in the middle of the run. I said, if you don't fix that, you better. Anyway, look at her. <laughs> ah! All right. <laughs> Let's get these out of here. Let's get these out of here so we can get to working. It's like three something in the evening. So, you know, we're going to end up running out of light soon. But these plants don't owe me nothing, y'all. I mean, don't owe me nothing. Look at the root. Wow. Oh, she going. She going to go. I need to grab my gloves so I can get as much of the soil off of the roots and back down into the ground. Oh, wow. Look at all of these worms, y'all. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but can y'all see? Puppy, get down. 
Yeah. Worms are good in your soil. If you see worms, that's a good sign, and they're also helping to uh, break up the organic matter in your soil. So that's a good thing. I'm about to go find my gloves. No, hey, hey, bro um, she eat broccoli. Puppy eat broccoli? No. Oh, she don't like broccoli. No. All right. Wait, actually, I don't know. Do she? All right. No, that was this. Wait, what is she? Oh, here. See if she want this. She you took it. Spit it out. The, oh, she spit it out. Don't you waste my hard grown food, puppy. <laughs> my dog does not eat broccoli. I thought she did. <laughs> she does not. Let's put all of that back. She left it right there, too. Puppy. You don't like my broccoli. She's like, no, no. She's she terrible. She left it on the ground. Very nice root system. So we got off as much of the soil as we could. It's she mostly root broccoli. left. Um, I do see some worms. I'm going to try to put them back. It's not a lot, but this was like my best performing plant. This one did good. It got a nice big head on it. But it's coming to the end of the season. Look. Get it at it. All right, so there is broccoli over in the bed by the compost pile. We're leaving that because it started to actually produce a little bit later. Those broccoli plants were pretty much spent and eventually they were going to flower. And there's nothing wrong with allowing your plants to flower. Um, it's actually really good for the pollinators. I'm going to let some of my other things go to flower um, because I'm trying to get these beds ready. Um, and so the things that are leafy greens, I'm gonna let them flower. The bigger plants, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out. We're gonna leave all of this cabbage for now because I'm very hopeful. <laughs> I'm very hopeful that we're going to get some cabbage, like an actual cabbage head. If not, we'll eat the cabbage leaves. But anyway, we're going to leave those. Um, we're going to go ahead and start to plant the onions in the holes. Um, and then we're probably going to end up ending this video. I'm just happy to be outside. Y'all already knew I was going to say that. <laughs> she had that chicken in my house, y'all. I thought she was about to tell me that chicken pooped in my house. I'm about to say that. You wait one good minute, man. <laughs> she didn't poop in my house, apparently. Listen, in the next few weeks, we about to, like bump it up right we getting potatoes planted out in bags which means we got to clean these bags out but um because there's a bunch of weeds that grew in them and my, my thought on that is yes it's going to use some of the nutrients and stuff that's in there but also at the same time um it's covering the soil so that's my look of of it in in the bags the beds also have quite a bit <laughs> what is happening <laughs> What is happening? Anyway, the beds have quite a bit of weeds in them too. So, you know, we about to get... Puppy. Wait, who is that? It's Puppy trying to... Puppy, no. Puppy, no. Thank you. Um. Right. So, anyway, we are gonna move along to just start dropping these onions in the hole. That's pretty much all we about... Oh. Girl. <laughs> Puppy. Stop. I'm trying oh. to get in the video. Okay, so we're gonna start in the holes over here. Um, and I have learned that you don't have to, and this is in my garden, in my backyard, not sure how it works, you know, for other people, but I've had way more success planting my onions less deep. So, these are my onions. These are the Texas Early Grano. So glad they didn't fall. I've had really good, somebody's riding a motorcycle. <laughs> I've had really good success with these, so I'm glad these aren't the ones that fail. And they came up and they look really good, so excited about that. Um, onions don't mind having their roots disturbed. There goes their roots. They're looking good. So we're literally just going to start pulling them apart. So that's one onion sprout right there. And I'm going to put them back in the container just because I don't want them to get uh, smushed or anything. All right, so right here is the onion. And I'm not going to plant it that deep like that. I'm going to make sure the roots are down. So I'm gonna make a hole big enough for the root to go down, but I'm not gonna plant the onion very deep. I just found that this is what works best for me. Um, when I planted them deep, I hardly got any onions. So um, this is how I'm gonna do mine. Also, 
the holes of the bricks they dry out much faster so I am now going to have to make sure I come out here and water because in order to ensure these uh, seedlings survive they have to be moist in order to settle into the soil so that's what we're doing so many onions in that one little flat and I am so excited <laughs> and I've also found that I do better starting my onions from seed if we're honest all of these holes right here they already had onion seeds in them but i just don't do well with coming out to water and so this is what happens when you don't keep seeds wet they don't they don't grow i'm throwing that over there into the asparagus bed for now but we will absolutely be moving that these are some weeds that was in the holes of the brick because the weeds be growing <laughs> The weeds don't care what time of year it is, they gonna grow. So we're just putting it all around the garden, y'all. Look at all these weeds. This is crazy. Uh oh, puppy, you like the broccoli? She not eating that. Puppy is playing with that. I mean, weeds for days, y'all. And they grew huge. If it, And you know what? It could be something that is useful to me, but you know me. If I don't know what it is, I ain't eating it. Anybody know what this is? If you do, tell me. I don't plant in this block because I don't know what, what that is. So I don't plant in this block. But And I'm sure somebody going to be like, but you plant your food inside of it. <laughs> You're right. But I don't plant my food in the holes of it, so... That's just my personal thing. And then there are already um, garlic. There's already garlic in some of the blocks. So we're gonna have garlic and onions going all the way around all the beds. Pretty excited about that. <laughs> go puppy, go puppy, go. My daughter's getting the dog to eat broccoli. She's pretty excited about that. And then I think this is burdock. It's got a very deep root, but I always pull it out because I didn't plant burdock, but I could also be wrong about that, which is why, which is why I don't eat it. <laughs> It's giving you the burdock look. I mean, the weeds took over and the flower bed looked terrible. But we gonna clean this out because this is, I wanna put some of the calendula over here. By the way, I meant to tell y'all, I think I realized the motorcycle must be on this street. But anyway, I think I realized what I'm gonna do with the flower bed. A lot of herbs, medicinals and stuff, they uh, can live in poor conditions, just like these weeds are. So, I'm gonna make this my um, herb slash medicinal bed. Instead of trying to always only have flowers in it, that's my plan. I'm pulling these weeds out. Completely got off track. <laughs> Something smells like cilantro. I had cilantro in this bed before. It may be some cilantro somewhere out here because, oh, ah! <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I planted cilantro. These look terrible, but we just need to get them in the ground. They fine. Those are the ones that was in the house that I told y'all we won't do in the normal hardening off process. They still alive, still fine. Oh my goodness. All right, let me get back to work because I done found these weeds and I'm just all on pulling the weeds right now. When are you going to be able to pull these cabbages? The cabbages ain't heading up, baby. Can you give me my stool? Not what stool? The only stool I use. She said, what, she said what stool? Girl, my home and garden trend stool. Can I get it, please? Which, by the way, a few people have asked over on Instagram where I got that stool from. Um, it is home and garden trends, and there is always a link. <laughs> there is always a link down below in the YouTube videos if you were also. You can hand it to me right here. I'm just on my knees, and I would rather not be. And if I don't have to be, because I have a stool, why not? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We love this stool. We love it. We literally have gotten super duper off track right now. Super duper off track. We are out here pulling weeds at this point. Look at all these weeds, y'all. That all came out of the flower bed. Good gracious a lot. Yeah, so this is the stool. Y'all seen it before. But I love it. Still, still pulling weeds. That's one thing about gardening. You come outside and do one thing, you're gonna see other stuff. And people say like, don't spend all day out here. I love being out here. 
I love it, especially now that, um, well, since we had to go through that winter. It's still winter, so I'm saying it like it's over, but it's not. But yeah, I need I need to do this anyway because I'm very much rambling. I'm sorry, y'all. You can skip past this. But I'm gonna plant out the rest of them onions eventually. But I need to do this because I definitely plan to put quite a bit of calendula over here. I was gonna have to do it anyway. And the unfortunate part about like gardening and when it's not yet summer is that if you work a, a, a full-time job, you don't have time to do it in the evening. So I'm making I'm making all the use of this day. All the use. <laughs> Here's those them sweet Spanish onions. I mean, just sitting in water, y'all. This is terrible. I'm probably going to go ahead and um, plant these out today, too. As well as these. Remember, we had planted some, and it didn't have good germination. Those are some of them, too. Lord, the weeds then started growing in here. Yeah, look. That's weeds. Started growing in the container. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we get these planted out too because they are much older than the ones that we have already been planting. Now, all of the blocks I planted on this bed. We're going to move over to some of the other beds. The soil is looking good right now. It's not... It's not giving root down. See, I could take my hand right down in there. And this is where a broccoli was. So, that makes me happy because last year, ooh, well, yeah, last year after summer, when I didn't have good luck, well, I didn't have the best luck. I'm not gonna say good luck because things did grow in my beds. I started trying to figure out what was wrong. It was the soil, I do believe. <laughs> the soil was pretty much root down. So we got so many weeds to pull. And I put leaves over this this year and the weeds still came through. I'm not saying anything about doing uh, mulching. I'm just saying they still definitely came through. Last year I put my onions in a lot earlier. So we'll see what happens. Cause onions grow based off of the day length. So we're gonna get them planted and see what happens. Cause I always say, even if they don't grow to a bulb. You can use the green and make a onion powder. I did that last year. Um, I had I used the green, but I also used the small white. Uh, the small bulb worked really well. I'm gonna show y'all this leak that's been in here in this hole for I don't know how long. I forgot about it, and it is nice size leak. I should have put some leaks in the hole because we got a bunch of them to plant out too. The way I look at it, onions and leeks, garlic, they can go in pretty small spaces and still grow. So these are red burgundy onions. These are some that we had planted out together. Okay. My battery is going dead. <laughs> so I'm going to get these planted out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit me over on Instagram where I post about the things going on in the garden almost every day. Bye, y'all.